And so that is the use memo hook in action. So now next we're going to talk about the use callback hook. And the difference between the use callback hook and the use memo hook is that use memo returns a memoized value while use callback returns a memoized function. So the syntax for the use callback is very similar to use memo. So what I'm going to do is inside my hooks folder, I'm going to create a new file called callback.js. And then inside here, I'm going to say RFC, save that, and then go ahead and disable memo here. And then I just want to go ahead and render out the callback. And then of course, import it on the top. So that now we're going to have callback on top. Now for the use callback demonstration, I want to go ahead and use an API that we used before. So if we go into the effect.js, I just want to go ahead and copy this link because it's going to be useful to us. So back inside the use callback, I want to go ahead and import use state and use effect and then use callback as well because that is the hook that we're talking about. And then I'm going to create my state values. So just like we did for memo, I want to have a count and set count because I want to show you that re-rendering is going to occur, right? So by default, it's going to be 10. And then I'm going to say const, let me say const, let me say const countries and set countries because that is the API that we're using is equal to use state and by default, it's going to be an empty array. And then next, let's create our function. So async function, uh, what's it called? Get countries. And then we're going to say const res is equal to await fetch and we're fetching from this api and probably it would, it would have even been easier if we just used the use fetch hook but we're already on the way so let's just continue so const data is equal to await res.json and then i'm going to say set countries into the data that we get back and then let's call our use effect so inside our use effect we want to go ahead and call the get countries function like so so get countries okay looking fantastic and then now look let's go ahead into the memo.js file and then let's copy this div so copy this div and then paste it inside this div paste it inside and then now for this demonstration we don't need this new value by the way we're going to get an error so just remove it and that should disappear reload there you go so we still have our account there now i want to create another component which is going to be simulating the re-rendering for the use callback so i'm going to say function let me say function component is equal to sorry this is not an, an arrow function so function component and then inside here i just want to have my use effect and then this use effect is going to show the following i'm going to say that this is going to be an empty dependency array. And then I want to call this function that is called get countries. So get countries, which means that now I need to go ahead and destructure it inside here. So get countries. And then let's render out the component. So render out component and then pass in the get countries function. So get countries prop is equal to the get countries function and then close it out. Now, when I save that, Oops, you're not. I don't need this inside here. Inside here, let's just have a console log. So console.log and then say fetching countries. Save that. And then now, anytime that we update the state, then it should be I've done that wrongly. I've done that wrongly. I have done that wrongly. And it's because the dependency array here needs to be get countries like so, so that every time that this changes then it's going to recall the use effect so that now it should say fetching countries as you can see right there now look at this get countries is a function but the function that we have inside here is basically getting some data from the api and then setting it equal to our state value so set countries right but you would think that this is not changing However, it is changing for every re-render that is occurring. So what happens is that React is looking for what is called referential equality. And those are the triple equal signs that we have in JavaScript. So it's checking for whether 
this function that is running now is similar to the previous function that had already run. And because of referential equality, it is not going to get the same thing, right? It's not going to get the same thing because the two functions are similar in syntax, but you can think of it like this. The, the position that they take up in memory are different. So when React is looking for whether they are equal, it finds that they are equal in terms of syntax, but their position is different. So what happens is it's going to trigger a re-render. And that is what is happening. That's why we are seeing fetching countries on the screen like so. Now, we don't want that to happen, right? So what we're going to do is this. We're going to use the use callback hook. Now, the way the use callback hook syntax is, it is very similar to the use memo. So what I'm going to do is the following. I'm going to say this async function and not, I know how to do this using arrow functions. So let me just transform this into an arrow function. So const get countries is equal to async and then it's an arrow function like so. Now, in order to memoize this function, all we need to do is just call use callback. So I can just say use callback and then pass in my asynchronous function like so. And then the syntax, the syntax, the syntax, this should be closed here. And you know what? Not even that. Let's remove the extra one here. And then this one closes itself. This one closes here. And then we need to pass in a dependency array and then close it out like so. There we go. So that now this opening bracket is closed on the end. And then we have a dependency array. And just like the use memo and the use effect, the dependency array is only going to run for any time that the dependencies you pass inside here change. So if you just leave it empty, then the function is going to be memoized. Now look at this. If I save that, look at fetching countries. Let's just reload to be on the safe side. And now look at this. I can add. And now it is no longer being logged to the console, even when I subtract. So that means that the function is being memoized and it is only going to be called when it is necessary. So with that, I think we are done with React hooks. And I have some resources in case you want to learn more about React hooks. And they're basically YouTube channels that I recommend. So there's one that is called Cosden Solutions. He does a very good job of explaining things in a simple way. So his YouTube channel is Cosden Solutions. There is also developed by Ed. He is a wonderful guy. And then there's also Web Dev Simplified. They all have uh, some videos about React hooks. So you can go ahead, you can check them out. All you need to do is navigate into the videos tab right here and then search for something like hooks and the video should come up right there. Would you look at that? So 31 minutes and he explains all the hooks. So that is going to be the end of this React hooks. And I mean, technically I'm recording this video as the last one, but it's the fourth project. So we are going to continue with the next project in the next video. So see you in the next project.